Welcome to another free mini tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor Richard Rost. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you about the after update event and a little VB programming. The after update event is an event that fires after some field is updated after you type in a value or click on a checkbox for example. The event will fire and allow you to run a little VB code to do some other stuff. Now usually this other stuff involves some kind of a calculation for another field. For example, I've got a little service call table here that has the service date and a description, an hourly rate, the number of hours for the service call, and then the total service charge. Now the total service charge is simply the hourly rate times the hours, but I want to be able to change this if necessary. Usually I advocate just making this a calculated query field, but in the event that you need to come in here and add something, maybe you actually sold the customer a mouse too, so you want to jack this up from 90 to 115, I want to give the user the flexibility to do that. So it's not just simply the hourly rate times the hours. But this gives you an example of where you might want to have that value be changeable. Now you can't put calculations in a table. So we're going to have to build a form for this and put an after update event in the form. So here's my service call form. I've got the hourly rate, the hours, and the service charge down here. And as I scroll through my records you can see the different values. Now if I change the number of hours here to 2, I don't want the user to have to type in a new value down here. I want the form to automatically figure this out for me. So let's go into design view for our form, come down to our hourly rate field, right click and go down to properties. Now find the events tab. These are all the different events that fire that are related to this particular text box. The only one we care about right now is after update. After update happens after you update the field. So after I type in a value, something's going to happen. Click on the little dot 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 button over here to the right of after update. That's the builder button. You might be asked if you want the expression builder, macro builder, or code builder. I'm going to pick the code builder because I want to write a little tiny bit of VB code. I'll hit OK. And now I'm inside the VB editor. Now don't worry about this option stuff up top here. You can ignore that for now. But everything inside this private sub hourly rate after update and the end sub is what's going to run when the hourly rate field is updated. So I'm going to put some blank lines in here and tab in. And I'm simply going to type in what I want this after update to do. Now, if you know no Visual Basic programming, well, you're going to have to learn some. I'm going to give you a little bit here, but there's plenty of great tutorials, including mine, that will teach you the Visual Basic language. But to do some simple calculations, all you need to know are the field names. For example, I'm dealing with hourly rate times hours equals the service charge. So that's real easy to do. All I have to do in here is say service charge equals the hourly rate times, that's an asterisk, times hours. And that's it. Now when I change my hourly rate, the service charge should automatically be updated. Let's see if it works save my form and go back to form view. If I change my hourly rate to let's say $55 and hit tab, notice how the service charge is updated as well. That's because I changed the hourly rate, the after update event fired, and the service charge was updated with my VB code. Now we haven't done the same thing for the hours field yet, but we can do that too very easily. Go back to design view, right click on hours and go to properties, Find the after update event, hit the builder button, pick the code builder, hit OK. Now you're in a new private sub called hours after update. It's going to be the exact same thing, right? Same calculation. I'm just going to copy it from up here, Control C, click down here, Control V, copy and paste. The same calculation is going to run regardless of which one of these two has changed. Now if I come back to form view and change this to say three hours, 
notice my service charge changed automatically. So that in a nutshell is how the after update event works. Now there's a ton of more things you can do with after update. Obviously this is just simply scratching the surface. You can change form properties, you can open up other forms, you can put some logic in there, have VB give you prompts, there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with after update. But that is basically how you can get in there and make some simple changes using a little bit of code when one of your fields is changed using the after update property. You can't do it in a table, you can't do it in a query, you can only do it with a form. Now I talk lots more about the after update events and all the VB code that goes with them in my access tutorial. Starting with 301, I start covering VB, especially how it pertains to access. In access 303, I cover the after update events specifically. The direct link to that class is accesslearningzone.com question mark GOAC303. That's where I cover after update events. But there's VB throughout my entire 300 series of tutorials. And of course, while you're at the website, don't forget to stop by accesslearningzone.com slash tips for more free tutorials just like this one.